Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I am Petra Auditor, and in this channel, we do videos on faith, relationships, and lifestyle. Welcome back from the Women's Day. Oh my God, I had fun. I had fun this Women's Day. I got dressed up, you know, with my friends from church and also we had a panel of icon you know women will look up to you know just discuss and answer questions there's so much to learn and i am so happy and privileged that i get to be you know in such an environment on a women's day and women's day has really influenced this topic of today and i want to get into it so Let's do this. Hey guys, you are welcome. So like I say, the women's day has influenced this topic and the topic is what men need to know about women. Or you can also think about it in this way. What women want to say, but sometimes they don't say it, you know, because of different reasons, really different reasons. So the first point that I want to talk about is the fact that a woman is complaining doesn't mean she's being naggy or like people say, oh, women are just talkative. Yes, women can be talkative. Women can decide to pour out their hearts and just say, say something over and over again. But as a man, you have to be able to differentiate when your wife is ranting, when she's complaining, when she's quarreling. You have to be able to differentiate it from when she's actually trying to pass a point. When she's actually trying to tell you that, you know what, honey, there's something I'm not seeing in our relationship that is not working out right. You know, as a man, you have to be able to listen and differentiate that. Men, you have to stop thinking that every time a woman is saying something or when she's ranting or complaining, you go like, there she goes again with her complaining. She's never satisfied. This woman has changed. No. Pay attention to what she's saying without concluding that that's just how women are. Because she's trying to say something. A man, you as a man, you should be able to be in touch with your wife's or your woman's emotions, her perspective, and her communication. You have to be in touch with those things. If not, you're going to always misunderstand her and you're going to miss out the point. Because in her complaining, there's something she's trying to say. But with the ideology that men have, like, oh, women talk a lot, women do this, women that, you're missing the point. And women want you to know that, that their complaining doesn't mean they're nagging. They're trying to say something. The second point is a woman needs to feel safe with her man. Every woman wants to feel emotionally, physically safe. She wants to be protected. She wants to feel defended by her man. She wants to feel like her man is a sanctuary. You know, there are men today who are not defending their wives from their family, from their friends, from just this world entirely. Your woman is left alone to fight. Let's give an example of a situation maybe... If your wife had a, an issue maybe with someone, your family or anyone, don't rebuke her in front of people. Yes, what you can do at that moment is just maybe pull her away from the situation and tell her, baby, can, can you know, just let's leave this. Try to show her like you're protecting her. And if you're to rebuke her, rebuke her, you know, from maybe inside your room or house when you people at home, but don't do it outside because women want to feel protected by their men, by, by all means, you know, but the mistake that is happening today is uh, men are just leaving their women to, to stand alone. You know, you have to be able to defend your woman. The third point that I want to talk about is just because you love me doesn't mean I feel loved by you. Men, you need to take time and ask your women how you how they want to be loved. Because men have this thing of thinking that all oh, women love kids, women love money, all oh, women love money. No, not all women love money. Actually, women today are making even more money more than their men. 
take time and ask human how do you want me to be loved because you buy the bags you build the house you do everything for this woman but she's still complaining and you're wondering why is this woman not appreciating what i'm doing it's because you're not loving her the way she wants to be loved I, for one, the thing I know about me is like, I love uh, words of affirmation. I love quality time more than I love gifts. Of course, I love gifts. But the things that are like, I love more, I like my husband to do more than even the other because that's how I feel more loved. You know, women love to communicate. Women love what they hear. So because you're buying gifts, because you're, you're doing your own things the way you, you think, the, the ideology that men have, you know, towards women. You think you're doing the right thing, but she's still complaining. She doesn't feel love. So that's why actually I recommend you to learn the, the five love languages because that will help you to identify how your partner wants to be loved, how your woman wants to be loved. So the other, the fourth, yes, the fourth is women want to be treated differently from any other person in your life. <laughs> we want to be treated different. I am your wife. So I have to have a different level of attention. You're not going to treat me the way you treat your friends, your co-workers, you know, the way you're going to treat maybe your family. No, I need a certain level of, you know, a certain level of attention. I want to give an example. Most times, there are men, you go with your wife, maybe for, you know, a gathering. You don't introduce her. You leave her right there. You go hang out with your friends, you know. And some men give more attention to their mothers more than their wives. I am sorry. I love my mother-in-law. I'm even sorry to bring her into this. But the truth is, hmm, some boys love their 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 mothers more than they love their wives. They give them more attention. They listen to what they're saying. They do what their mother tell. But when the wife says anything, they don't pay attention. That is hypocrisy. You cannot do that to the mother of your children because at the end of the day, what you do to your wife is what your children are seeing, and that's what they will be. You know, so you have to pay attention to how you're treating your wife. You have to give her all the attention in the world. You know, when you're with your friends, say, oh, guy, meet the most amazing, wonderful, excellent, beautiful queen of mine. You know, give her that attention when you're introducing her. Not when you're with your friends, you just leave her, you know, you're going and you're hanging. Even when you're with your friends and you're a busy person, you can actually just tell honey, you know what? I need to get this done. And I just want you to know that I love you. So you can sit by here, get a soda, get anything you want. <laughs> that is enough. A woman just wants to know that you are connected, connected to her. The other point is providing for your family doesn't mean you are present. You know, I'm not saying a man providing, a man working hard is a bad thing. That is a very good trait. It's, a, it's, a, it's something that brings money into the home. But what is the use of money without joy, without happiness? You know, see, the thing is, you will work hard, but then your family is missing. Your children don't get to see you. You know, there's a saying that happy wife, happy home. Working hard is an amazing thing. But also just being able to create time and just be with your family helps you people to bond. Because even the first thing that brought you together, let's say, for those who married for love, wasn't well, the money, you know, because money can corrupt you. Money can think that you're giving back, but you're not actually giving back to your family. Your kids don't get to see you. Your wife is just miserable. You know, your money is there. Yes, they have everything they want, but they're still not happy. You say, so men tend to be like, but I'm working. So if we all sit at home, then who, who will be the, the, the one providing for the family? My dear. As long as you love something, you create time for that thing. If you love your wife, you create time for a date, you create time for you, maybe your children, just for your family. So let uh, the idea of marriage not, uh, okay, sorry, hard work. Let it not, you know, spoil what you have, you know, with your home. Because 
time will come you might end up just losing your family because you love your money more than you know being present with them so uh there's another thing i want to talk about is saying sorry is not enough <laughs> Ooh, saying sorry alone to a woman is not enough. You know, sometimes men think after like hurting the woman, they want her to come back running, you know, to their shoulders and saying, oh, baby, it's okay, I've forgiven you. No, no, no. You know, some women take time to heal. Women are emotional. A woman will just hold on to something for some time. She will not let go. So a man, you as a man, you have to be patient. You have to be patient and just take your time. Love on her in the process of healing. You know, don't think that a woman has to heal fast if she's not ready. You can't do that to women. You know, men are different. You're physical. Women are emotional. So don't ever put your wife in a situation where she feels just to feel guilty that she's still hurting because you want her to heal. No, let this woman just heal in the right way because when she pretends like she's already okay and the next time, the next thing she's doing, she's hanging out with you, believe me, you don't want to be around a silent woman, a woman who feels she's not being hard, a woman who feels like she has to do something because she has to, oh, oh, that woman can burst at any time. So... Just be a helper in that process of our healing. You know, there's so many things that happen to women. Women have miscarriages. Women have, uh, you know, just maybe they still fight with their in-laws. And you yourself as a man. But because instead of you being with her and telling her, baby, it's going to be okay, you want her to just pretend like everything is fine. No, women want a man who is ready to just keep pursuing them in their pain and be like, baby, you're going to be fine. Baby, I'm going to be right here. I'm, I'm not letting go. I know I hurt you, but I'm sorry. Say it again, again and again until she gets in her head. Because when a woman heals, she forgets. But the reason why men be like, oh, women, <laughs> women keep a record of wrong. It's because you want the healing process to be quick. Right. So the other point, uh, this one, this one, you get, you got to get it. It's. The connection after sex. There is there is just a misconception on sex. And most people talk about like, oh, how you're supposed to like prepare a woman, you know, for sex before even you are in the real thing. How maybe you send a text, you know, kiss her in the morning when you're going for work. So where can you come back? She's ready. She's prepared for you. All that is good. But also, this has to be talked about, the connection after sex. What happens, some of you men, after doing it, after enjoying it, <laughs> after you have you arrived, eh, you just sleep off. <laughs> you sleep off and you leave your woman there just lying. Women actually don't sleep. That's the moment they want to feel loved. They want you to hold them, you to kiss them, tell them thank you. Because when you don't do the things, they feel disconnected from you. They feel alone. Believe me, you can be married to a woman and she will still feel used by you. Because she didn't feel appreciated. You know. So let's stop focusing on just getting it, getting to the sex part. But also how to end it. Because that's why people say, oh, women don't love sex. Women are not sexual. Because if you're not appreciating her, giving her that warm, warm, you know, warm, that warm feeling about it, that feeling like she did something, I don't know how to say it. Both of you enjoyed, yes, but at the end of the day, you need to appreciate each other. And as the head, the woman will grow after you. You know, she was when you say thank you automatically, she will say thank you. When you just put her head on your chest and just hold her, sleep off, maybe she will feel uncomfortable and remove her head, but let it be her choice. But just after it and you're like, mm, you've gone to Sere Remora, 
like you are snoring the whole way through she just had to get up go and shower some people even go shower together you know the ending really matters because it leads to the other you know it leads to more more beautiful sex life you know so i want to end with this point that men you set the tone in your house you set the tone it's high time men take their rightful places that God has said is that you are the head of your house. You are the man of the house. You set the tone and the woman feeds from your tone and sets the atmosphere. What is happening today is that men do not set the tone. Men do not pray. Men don't speak over the lives of their wives and their family. Many times when I'm sick, I kneel down I tell my husband, Speak over my life. Pray for me. Because I want him to know who he is in the house. You know. Men are waiting for women to set the atmosphere so that the tone is set. No, it doesn't work like that. It works the other way around. You know. Because a man who loves his wife, who appreciates his wife, is already setting a tone for his children. So, don't ever be this kind of man who is like, oh, my wife complains. My wife has changed. My wife is not the way she used to be. You know, my wife is fat. My wife, don't say those things. You're setting a negative tone. And ask yourself why women behave the way they behave sometimes. And try to rectify them. So my prayer is that I've said everything that maybe other women agree with. And if there's something that I've said that's really is not agreeable with, then I pray that you can comment below and let me know. And if you can also add, please, I request you to like this video. If you've enjoyed it, comment below, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend uh, to watch my videos. And I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you with the love of Christ. And bye.